the entrance of the ball in the hole. With the putter, you harvest all the hard work done from the tee. It is a delicate moment in which you will need focus and relaxation. Con controlling your stroke comes from the awareness of your tempo and of your movements. Relaxation comes from a great balance between the movement itself and your thoughts. There are places that seem to be born in harmony, places that constantly inspire people who, was, who were born and lived there. Michelangelo explored harmony in his heart and sculptures. Leonardo da Vinci studied the human body as the most efficient between all the machines, funding principles of modern biomechanics. Every individual has a different physique. There are biomedic criteria to identify such physiques. From your face to the geometry of your eye, every individual is characterized by his own body type. However, body functions based on well-defined mechanical principles. Movement happens with the help of nodes and joints. Every node has ties and those ties will affect the mechanical movement and its functions. The common property within all the nodes is that they rotate. Every movement from the easiest to the most complex one is the result of rotations. The robotic arm functions with the same principles. The complexity of the movement is connected to the number of nodes functioning in the action. The putter stroke is the result of rotation. The easiest movement is the single rotation. Mechanics shows that a single rotation model is the most efficient one. The single rotation model controlling one of the possible movements creates an easy and repeatable stroke. What is a single rotation model? It is a single rotation around a central axis in a period of time, similar to the one you see in the big wheel of Luna Park. To describe this movement, you need two parameters. First, radius of the wheel, we will call this R, and the inclination of the wheel relatively to the horizontal axis. This will be called theta. These parameters define the rotation amount around an inclined axis in the space. The putter head moves like three axes. The coordinates and the angles of the axis remain in the same related to the wheel. It doesn't move compared to the local system of coordinates. This way, the putter is locally still. Relatively to the global system, the world, both the coordinates and the angle of the putter are constantly changing. The putter, relatively to the ground, is rotating and, trans and translating. The single rotation model simplifies the control over your trajectory using a simple and repeatable model to comprehend and develop the movement. Capto high frequency acquisitions and elaborations create a 3D model. However, What's the analogy between the putting stroke and the Luna Park wheel? To answer these questions, we have to understand Capto 3D model. You can only obtain it if the putter has a null local movement. To obtain such, you will need to create a single structure between the putter head and your arms. K 
keeping it compact and connected but not tense. This structure will later have to rotate around a steel axis throughout the whole stroke. This way we have a similar movement to the Luna Park wheel. The putter is still relatively to the wheel but moving circularly in the space. Of course there are differences between the player movement and the theoric one coming from the single rotation model. The human body in its compl complexity has different nodes functioning simultaneously. We in Capto have some special indicators. The first indicator is the shaft plane as the result of the extension line from the sweet spot up to the grip axis over the hands. All of these positions create a shape called striped surface. Usually the shaft plane does not coincide with the, with the wheel plane. In this player, for example, putt plane is 7 degrees and shaft plane is 20 degrees. The second parameter is the sweet spot plane. The sweet spot plane is created by adding all the sweet spot positions throughout the stroke. This is similar to the trajectory generated by the weight in a hammer throw meaning the totality of the points of the center of sphere center of mass. The sweet spot plane has the same inclination as the shaft plane only in few players. The two planes should have a similar radius. The third indicator, the most interesting one, is the putt plane. The putt plane depends from the sweet spot trajectory. From its speed and from its angular velocity. It is an important indicator that summarizes the whole mechanics of the putting stroke. Let's get back to the wheel within its simple actual movement. The angular velocity of the wheel is represented by the vector that passes through the rotational axis. This vector is made up by two components, a horizontal component and a vertical component. Most part of the rotation speed is determined by the horizontal component, a little bit from the vertical one. The inclined rotation can be found by adding up all the vectors from the principal rotations. The green rotation is bigger than the red. This means that the wheel rotates faster and the horizontal axis than on the vertical one. When the putter is touching the ground, is locally still. However, its coordinates relatively to the world keep changing. This is what our eye perceives during the putting stroke. The putter angles related to the wheel are number one, face angle is related to the vertical rotation. Loft angle is relative to the horizontal and frontal rotation. And the lie angle relative to the lateral rotation. When the putter is still, all the angles are all tied together. For example, for any loft angle value, there are pre-established face and lie angle values. For every couple of radius, and angle value, it is possible to show ideal curves.
When the angle is altered, the trajectory of the, co of the curve will change. The same is the radius changes. But which causes determine the verticality of the pot plane? Maybe the posture or the nodes activation, especially the wrist one. Usually a combination of the three. What we see here is relatable to the pot, but also to the whole swing in general. Let's get back to the putter on the wheel for a second. While the inclination of the wheel changes, the vertical, horizontal and rotational components change as well. The more horizontal, the more rotational component of the putter face you will have, meaning that the inclination of the putt plane indicates the rotational speed on the putter face. For every putt on an inclined plane, the ratio between loft and face velocity remains constant. This means that in the rotation graph, the ratio between loft and face value has to stay constant. The changes in the putter head velocity change this ratio and as a consequence the putt plane value as well. Every time that a player makes a putting stroke you create a local movement in which the ratio between all the velocities and the putt plane changes. The putt plane angle does not change if the movement does not include rotations. The radius work the same way, it changes as the ratio between linear and angular velocity of the putter changes. The plane keeps changing in time, inclinations with their radii one inch before the low point and after impact are represented. The center itself from which the whole rotation occurs is, move, is moving. We call pot kernel the sphere that includes all different positions developed by movements of all centers in the established interval. A small pot kernel indicates stability and consistency. To improve the pot kernel means to also improve the putt plane. The position of the putt in kernel indicates the middle of all rotations and it is strictly connected to the balance and stability of your posture. Its position is connected to the low point of the shot. The putt plane is a new and powerful tool to enhance the study of the putting stroke and your performance.